Welcome to another edition of Popping the Tin. And today we're going to review the new outing here of Castello Sea Rock. Now, from what I know, um, from what I saw, this was put out before. And now this ones have been like kept in a vault or somewhere hidden. And they have about nine years of of cellaring, nine years of age there. So it's already puffed out. It's kind of bulging. I don't know if you can see that. Is that a good thing? It, it is a good thing. Like the gases have been released and that kind of tells you that it's kind of been, been aged. I know it's, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> but you it, farted already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit. You let it all out. Tobacco fart. So, <laughs> but you know, because it, they, they have nowhere to go because it's sealed, you know, so you see how oh, everything's wow. kind of puffed yeah. up. Yeah. So it should be interesting. So let's see what um, it <laughs> should be an aromatic, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Go ahead and pop the tin mm -hmm. and we'll we'll go through our. It has one of these things, so that will be easy. Should be easy. Pop. A bit is happy to be released. I know. Shh. Like, thank God. It's like the the, 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 the genie in my in my get three wishes. There we go. So what a do lot, you smell? Ooh, a lot oh. of dark there. You got tobacco on your thighs. <clears throat> I already got <coughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to drink something already. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've been like all day kind of um something's tickling my throat. If it smells like, like maybe rum cake. Rum cake, okay. So, tin note, rum cake. That, you know, some people might like that. That might be a good thing. A little on the dry side. A little on the dry Very side. Very little moisture on this one. <clears throat> All right. And this is what? Ribbon cut? What is this? Let's see, throw it in there and I'm going to put my glasses yeah. on. Let see. them see, okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of dark there, which it kind of gives me a little bit of a... Uh, what is my art enemy? This is like a shag cut. It's like yeah, everywhere cut, everything cut. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's it, the majority of it. I will say sixty percent is like that black. Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of cabbages in there actually. Mm -hmm. So take a look at it. So let's read what the blend uh, composes. So go ahead, Lady Fire, do your thing. All right, Sea Rock. An exceptionally smooth aromatic blend of Virginia's, Burley's, and Black Cavendish. There you go. Delicately infused with a old world flavor. And I try to look up what that old world flavor was and couldn't find it. Uh, most of the people that have tried the, the one that came out years ago said that they kind of uh, felt it was vanilla, kind of a vanilla thing. So... We'll see. Yeah, and if you know, please just text it here and yeah, so we find out what it is. If any sure. of you guys had the the one that they put out uh, a few years ago, I think it was. I don't know if it was that. It should have been that year, two thousand and fourteen or maybe two thousand and seventeen, from what I read. Uh, let us know. Let us know what you thought about it. Uh, they just uh, released this one on a, on a limited edition, and they released four different types, and we're gonna review at least two, and let's see. Uh, the next one will be Old Antiquary. We'll show Should you. Should I show them? Yeah, go ahead and show them. Right. That's the one that we're Old doing Antiquary. next. Old Antiquary. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll Hopefully do that they one. they can read that one. There we go. I saw it. Also by Castello. All right. Mm -hmm. How did we acquire these two? Uh, through, uh, through, um, through Smoking Pipes. That's where we got them. Oh. Yeah. They actually, I think, is exclusively to them. Yeah, you're right. It is. It's funky because if it, it feels dry, but at the same it time... Is. When you press it really hard, then you find something there. Press it yeah, really no, hard. no, yeah, it is. You can find that little bit. There's mm -hmm. just a tad mm -hmm. bit and of all moisture, of it, but not a lot. And all of the moisture is in that Cavendish. It's in the in the black. It's actually for me. This is the thing that I'm, I have tasted with the most yeah. age ever. Oh. I never had something like that where it so says. So you know what? We should have a cellar with old tobacco. With old tobacco. It's just like it's like instead of one, you can do your own cellar of. Well, you know what? Without even trying, that's what's gonna happen. Because we have so much tobacco that there's no way, you know, like those have been in boxes and the other. But I haven't. And tried. they keep coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we got Go the ahead. the moisture. Uh, 
I'm going to call it slightly, slightly moist. Very, yes. very slightly. I we already said it. the thing note, you said it's rum cake. And, um, yes, it has like this like... Let's um, see what the room note brings. Always, if, if everything smells a little bit like raisins to me for some reason. But it, it feels that it smells like that rum cake. Like it has a little bit of rum, but still like maybe a cinnamon. And um, it may not have any of that, but that's what it smells like to me. Do you smell any vanilla? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Every time you do a cake, most of the time you put in a vanilla or almond. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it has some uh, rum cake, a cake word in there, it probably will have some vanilla. So that was the first slide, and we're using the pipes that we had made. Of, it smells good. The couple pipes by uh, from the Czech Republic, Mister. Uh, I always say it wrong, Stefan. Kunk or Kunk, Stefan Kunk. Uh, show him yours. All right, so I'm, okay, which one is this one? Same, yeah, from he made us like the couple, so he made oh. you know kind of a matching set for you and I. Mine blue, yours red. And mine longer because I think he knows that I like. Mm -hmm. I told him that you like him, <laughs> that you don't like the smoke Thank in your you. face. I appreciate that. No, I don't, I don't like it to be hitting me. So we're time. trying to. Do you use during fight week uh, some of the uh, artisan? I like the smell. Tell me. It, it has, I don't know how I said in the past, like barbecue, grill. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, this is different. <gasps> this should be different. Completely. No that IKEA here. No, so. not at all. It doesn't have like campfire. Uh huh. It has like. Actually, it has like a fruity, okay. soft um, scent to it. It's very, very pleasant. Fruity, okay. It's, it's very pleasant. So, for the room note, a fruity smell. Is it more fruity or more floral? More fruity? Oh, fruity, oh, Rudy. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm, I'm the one usually singing. Yeah. <laughs> it's tutti fruity. Tutti fruity. <laughs> it's fruity. All right, fruity. All right. It well, is. go ahead. Go ahead and pack yours then. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna okay. keep smoking it. Um, so far. Mm -hmm. Let's go do this. Interesting enough, I taste the burleys first. I usually really? taste the Virginias right away, and the burleys and. Okay, what color is the burley? Is that the black? No, it should be like brown. The brown. The black is the Cavendish. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, then you know what. It, has it is stronger than Burley's is stronger. The Burley has more nicotine. Yeah. Ah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm trying to Virginia has I'm less. Say. And then Cavendish, you know, depending how they make it, if they make it with Burley, mm -hmm. it will be stronger. If they make it with Virginia, it will be less. And there's a blend that we're going to review later um, that they, the Burley is made, and the Burley, the Cavendish is made with, with Dark Fire Kentucky. So that Cavendish is, is going to be strong. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I think I have. So two lights Done. and pretty much it stays going. Yeah, I kind of figured you you didn't need that many lights. Yeah, on this and one. you know, I'm covering a little bit for the wind and... What wind? Well, you know, they're, with air conditioner. <laughs> so, I was like, what wind? You know, what are you talking about? The air conditioner. The air conditioning, huh? okay. And, uh, no, oh, wait a minute. Out. I need to be careful. I'm going to do it that way because last time I burned my, my thumbs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't do that. I'm not done. So now I'm getting a little bit of the tartness of the Virginia. Like a little, like a little sour note. Not, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. So I did not get the topping right out of the right out of the bat. Like sometimes it happens that you just get the topping, boom, if it's heavily topped right out of the bat. So that's a good thing for me because I don't like. Unless the topping tastes really good though. Then, then I don't mind it. 
a um, little bit of sweetness. Actually, it tastes, it's tasting good so far. Is my pipe filtered? Yes, and mine is too, both. Both of these pipes are filter pipe. Thanks for saying it, because I forgot to mention it. By the way, tell us guys what you think of the, of the sound of the volume. Uh, this time we're trying it without the microphone. Sometimes, especially me, I can be loud. And uh, sometimes with microphone, <laughs> it gets too loud. And then last time, last time I was too loud. Lady Fire was was wired, and she and she's always you're always quiet. But last time you actually were. I, yeah, I took a nap, a long nap before. I she had all kinds of energy, and I was like, yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, I was so, so we're loud. So we're trying it without the microphones just to see maybe just our voices, just like this, uh, sound good. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Well, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing for some people. I but just like this up one time. That's what it took. Okay. So it's That's definitely it. uh, stuff and puff, easy to light up. Very easy. So that makes, you know, that kind of moisture be closer to the to perfect because that it didn't require drying. We didn't dry it or anything. We just, we just went at it. Now, what I was going to say is I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or bad thing for some of you guys listening, but I'm getting more of the feel of that. Link 1Q kind of deal. Most of you know what Link 1Q tastes like, uh, which is kind of a very simple, aromatic, kind of mild, mild on the nicotine, mild on the taste, um, nothing out of the ordinary that I can kind of say, mmm, tastes so good, or, or it doesn't taste like anything, kind of in the middle there. I can say that I taste the vanilla, do you smell the vanilla? No. No. It may not even have it. It is absent. Missing in action. M-I-A. Can do I you, say that? What do you taste on yours? Is, is it a sweet taste? Is it a bad taste? Tell, tell us about the flavor so there, far. Be honest. Give it to them. I hate it. You don't Hated like it. it. <laughs> Hey, we, we should, should even put it down. We should, we, we should have that, that, that video that we put before of the guys. Hated it. No. All right. No, so no, tell no. us, tell I, us why you're not liking it. The things I did like is did you get, that you get started right away. Mm -hmm. I just did one one light mm -hmm. and it lit up pretty fast. Uh huh. But should we say the ups and down and the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down? Well, I just wanted to know now that the flavor, just the flavor. Then we'll do the thumbs and that. Just on the flavor, what is it that you just? I can tell that you're not liking the no. flavor very much. I don't like it at all. It's it's. It's a it's a, a chemical flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mm -hmm. my my mouth is repelling this thing. Mm -hmm. It's like no, what are you doing? Don't don't put any more. And and I tried it. I'm just gonna sit. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then try again. And and I and then I'll let you know. Uh, but so, right now is a no for me. So for you guys, sorry. For you guys that have seen us before, we're we're kind of sensitive to the. Uh, chemical you know the added chemicals and if something has a particular added chemical topping or or casing that doesn't go with our palate then we usually kind of taste it right away and we don't enjoy it uh things that have no topping usually they do very well with us because they don't give us that that kind of you know bad aftertaste this one i can feel it's just not as bad as some of the other ones i i know that it's coming but so far, it hasn't kind of overwhelmed me yet. Well, it doesn't have that peppery taste in your palate. It's just, but it's just not flavorful yeah. to me. Yeah. It's just very blah, just plain old tobacco. There's something about it that, I, that I'm that i rejecting, period. I just don't want it. All right, so let's do this. Unfortunately, sorry, but this one is just, I'm not gonna give it a lot of praise. Let's do the switcheroo. Now you try mine. And I'm gonna try yours. Oh, wow. Sometimes that makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. And we'll find out. I'm gonna tamp yours. Yours expanded quite a lot from what I'm seeing. Now 
this is such a cool pipe. I like it. I know it's yours, but I like it. Yeah, I can taste it more on your pipe for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's stronger there. All right. It is a bit smoother on this one. Mm -hmm. But still, then it is on that one. But still, no, no. But it's still a no, no. A no, no. All right. All right. Well, let's do the thumbs up real quick. Thumbs up and down. Are you ready? I think they know. One, two, three. I'm going to give it a sideways thumb, which I usually don't do because it is that so so. Yeah. Uh, I can't give it a thumbs up because I know people that are sensitive to the chemical, are going to be sensitive to this. And um, and someone that loves that type of kind of aromatic, like Lane One Q and all those, they might enjoy it. I'm disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you know what? You, you just said what it was in my head. I was like, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I was expecting a little more from, I mean, name like Castell and all that. I was just expecting a little more. You know, um, every once in a while, even people that are perfect or almost perfect, they do screw up. <laughs> Mr. Costello or whoever Costello well, is. No, whoever blended or it. Or the, whoever the hell blended this thing. <laughs> you screwed up. Yeah. Do it again. For our taste. Let's just take this one, th file 13 it, <laughs> and get me something else. Yeah, for our taste, we're sorry. Um, I'll go first. I'm going to give it <laughs> in stars. I'm, go ahead. I'm going to give it a 2.5. 2.5 for me. It's just not something that I probably, um, definitely, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy more. I would probably um, see who likes this type of 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 aromatics, and I would give it to them. It might be somebody's cup of tea. I love it, you know. And and I, I don't, I don't believe in throwing tobacco away. I believe in finding who likes it and refurbish you know, it and and recycle it to someone that maybe if you it. add something. Else oh well, that's it. a that's another thing, you know. Yeah. Some of the tobaccos. Um, I have added something just because I don't want to throw them away and they ended up being great after I fixed them up. So, uh, I would add Latakia to this one. That's what I would do. Actually, I think I have some pure Latakia somewhere. That I think that's what I probably do just to kind of tame down that, that flavor and get something I like. 2.5 for me. All right, Lady Fire, give it, give it your... 1.75. 1.75 for her. She definitely did not like it. I know. It could be one of your lowest scores. It is my lowest score ever. Um, I, maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I, think, I think this is the lowest. You think so? I think so. I have never given anything less than two. I don't. I, I oh, do not I think that you. I think it was. I'm thinking of that cigar that you gave it. Like, well, that cigar was horrible. Yeah. You, you, I, <laughs> you didn't even want to give it a number. Okay. One point seven five. One point seven five. Um. <laughs> I, there's not much I can say a positive about it. Um, it's kind of like a smooth smoke, but it's just the aftertaste, whatever it lingers in your palate, it's just not pleasant. It's not pleasant mm -hmm. at all. The um, whatever combination they use, they need to kind of change the levels of of, of the components. Of the components a little bit and readjust. Um, it was just not pleasant to me at all. I, I really don't like it. Period. I normally would say, you know what, age it some more, but this one has already been aged for nine years. So maybe you shouldn't age it. <laughs> so smoke it right away. Don't give 40 because it was kind of like <laughs> so fat. And, uh, no. So again, we're talking about zero Castello. Um, we're a little zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. zero. Oh, we're, we're a little disappointed. Oh. The good parts. It, it it is a stuff and puff, two lights, one light, True. and it went. True. The room note is actually, would you say pleasant? True. Okay. It was not bad. And, not a... and the moisture was, was really good. Yeah. Now, the flavor kind of killed it for us. And, um, killed me. And the aftertaste is not what we like. So, mm -hmm. I hope you guys can use that to make your own judgment whether you want to get this or not. 
Um, I'm sorry if I disappointed anybody or hurt somebody's feelings. <laughs> and I'm going to, I mean, I usually keep smoking and giving them a try and see, uh, just in case. And if I change my mind, I will let you guys I'm know. I'm not changing. <laughs> but 98% of the time, I would say, whatever I get on the first impression is usually what sticks it with is, me. Yeah, yeah, true. After I think weeks before, even years before, I'm still trying to give a chance to this I'm not gonna say the blend, but a blend that everybody likes. And from the first time I tried it to the to the year and two years after, I still don't like it. I, I mean, mean, if you do like it, kudos to you. Yeah, I yeah. mean, so we're gonna give a chance. Leave your zone. So our, our next one is gonna be the Ole Castello, the old antiquary. Now this is gonna be completely different. This, I hope so. Yeah, because of the components in it, it's gonna be completely different than the zero. So maybe that will be more to our liking, but we will, so. we'll still give you an opinion. And again, from that, you base it on what you like, and then you can make a decision uh, for yourself, not what we said, of course. So how are, are you ready for pipe week? That's next week. <laughs> so hopefully uh, when this comes up, you guys will see. My have... outfits are. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. It's My so shirt is, really. and I mean, we, we have some of the, things that we're going to have fun with. So, uh, of course, for you guys that see this many years later, Park Week happens around Father's Day. So if, if this is around Father's Day for you, um, check for Park Week. Hopefully we can keep this going for years and years and years to come. Father's Day is on a Sunday. Park Week goes all the way until that Saturday with an award show that uh, we're hosting this year again for the, this is the awards number three, the third year. And we have hosted, this will be our second time hosting. So, hope to see you there. If you haven't voted, uh, vote. Uh, and if not, it's going to be live. So, it'd be great if, especially all you guys that have been nominated, if you can pop in so you can, we can talk about it. And you can say, hey, or hey, maybe you can come live and accept the awards like they do in the... That'd be nice. That'd be kind of cool, right? <laughs> so, until then, we leave you with a review of Castello, Sea Rock, um... <laughs> Take my hat and you say your advice. I'm gonna say my goodbyes. All right. If you like the content, please give us some thumbs. Even if we disagree, just gonna have to be very honest and honest we are. Yeah, yeah. And if you would like to uh, subscribe to our channel, we would love that. We will also thank you for special thanks and keeping our um, channel going. We mm -hmm. would really appreciate. Thank you very much. And until next time, you all stay lit. And we'll see you soon and on the Pipe Pipe Week. Yes, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.